Gilner. I'm a civil engineering student at the University of San Carlos. Today I'll be giving a brief explanation of the field of life, the history, the uses, and different parts of it. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Theodolite, Project for Technical English 1, Faridi Gunger, 2011-800. History of the Theodolite. The debate of who actually invented the Theodolite seems to span almost five centuries. Pictures of these instruments have appeared as early as 1512, but the word was first coined in 1571 in Leonard Digdes' book, a famous British mathematician and surveyor. While Leonard uses the actual word Theodolite, his sketches in his books are not as similar to those of Joshua Humberman, a German who probably truly created the first substantial satellite around 1575. Here are some examples of the different types of satellites. A satellite is an instrument that is used to measure vertical and horizontal angles. It is mainly used in surveying and construction work, but has been recently adopted to perform specific tasks in rocket launch technology and metrology. Modern satellites are composed of three parts, a movable telescope, a horizontal axis, and a vertical axis. The two axes are perpendicular to each other, and the telescope is placed within them. They are usually mounted on a tripod when used in the field. Here are the parts of a digital satellite. Parts and uses of a modern satellite. First, we have the target site. It is used to point at the target and is located above the telescope body. Then we have the objective lens. It is also located on the telescope, but is on the opposite end as the eyepiece. The objective lens is used to sight the object, and with the help of the mirrors inside the telescope, allows the object to be magnified. The horizontal clamp knob is provided to clamp the upper plate to the horizontal circle. Once the clamp is released, the instrument is free to tra traverse to 360 degrees around the horizontal circle. Here we have the horizontal tangent screw. When clamped, the instrument can be gradually transited around the circle. Then we have the display window. Displays the readings of the horizontal and vertical angle measured. The operating keys are beside the display window. They are used to hold readings on the display window, reset them, and to on and off the instrument. Below that, we have the leveling screws. They are used to adjust the position of the satellite based on its position on the horizontal plane. Next, we have the instrument center mark, where the name of the company usually goes. Below that, we have the optical plummet, small telescope whose eyepiece is near the bottom of the satellite that looks directly beneath the satellite and is used for centering. Below that is the tripod base plate, flat piece of the instrument, which is connected to the On the other side of the satellite, we have the carrying handle. This is used to hold the instrument. The handle screw keeps the carrying handle in place when holding the instrument. We have the plate level. Below is, another, is a closer view of the plate level. Is adjusted to make the vertical axis of the satellite truly vertical when the bubble of the plate the level is centered in the bio. Then we have the, the Trebatch clamp knob to keep the instrument securely fastened. And then we have the battery case where the batteries are. The focusing knob is used to focus the view to the eye place depending on the surveyor. The eye place is where the surveyor views what is being measured. The vertical clamp knob is used to hold the telescope at a particular vertical angle. The vertical tangent screw. When clamped, the, this, the telescope can be slowly transited using the, this fine adjustment screw. And lastly, we have the circular level. Below is a closer view of what a circular level looks like. It is located on the tribrach of the instrument and is used to roughly level the instrument. 
Now I'll give a brief explanation about mounting and leveling a digital transit. In other words, a tripod. First, we place the tripod over the ground, datum point, and tighten the leg. Here we have a picture of, the, of what a tripod looks like. Secondly, we attach the instrument, which is above the, the tripod, to the, to, we attach it to the tripod and tighten snugly. Thirdly, we roughly level the instrument with the circular level. Fourth, we fine tune the instrument with the plate level. And fifth, centering the instrument using the optical plummet. Now I'll give a brief, more in-depth in explanation of phases 3, 4, and 5. In, in, the, in number 3, we see that the, we use level screws A and B to move the air bubble in the circular level so it is centered left to right. Thirdly, we use level screw C to move the air bubble to the center of the valve. Fourth, we turn the instrument into the plate level. Is either one of the positions shown. Then use the A and B level screws to center the bubble in the level. We turn the instrument 90 degrees and center the air bubble in the vial using level screw C. Fifth, we adjust the eyepiece so the bull eye, bull's eye Reticule, reticule comes into sharp focus. We adjust focus knob so ground target comes into sharp focus. Fifth, we slightly loosen the tripod fastening screw and move the instrument until the ground target is centered in the optical plummet. We tighten the tripod fastening screw and recheck the level valve by following steps 3 and 4 again. Thank you for your time.